I'm on Lakeside, the part that joins McGee by the highway here, 35. They put the highway in in the early mid 80s. This used to be a park called Lakeside Park. There's a fuck band from Dayton, Ohio called Lakeside. And now it's just a big collection of everything. This is the VA. Now, I didn't do this video. Well, I did do a video with the snow, but I forgot to mention that these sidewalks here on either side of Gettysburg, there's a VA right there. Well, I noticed when it was really, really snowy out, people were actually walking on Gettysburg. They were. They were walking on Gettysburg to get right for Sirens and Lights. Look, that man didn't use his turn signal. I got a ticket for that when I went right for Sirens and Lights. He went kind of left, but... Anyway, there's a man, a homeless man, asking for food. Anyway, these sidewalks were not cleaned up, so people were actually walking either side of Gettysburg on the road. See, there's two lanes. People were walking in this lane that I'm driving in. They were walking in it. And it's not right, because the city of Dayton moved the homeless shelter to where I live, up here on Gettysburg. That's just three miles from downtown. And yes, the people do have a bus pass and all that, I guess, if they get a ride. But people have lives, too, and they do things in the day before they go home to the homeless shelter, I guess. So that's why lots of people are walking around. And here's another man on the corner of Gettysburg and Third Street asking for money. We have a lot of homeless people, and those are the sidewalks that should be cleaned up by the government, since the government owns the VA and the government owns the prison at the other end of Gettysburg, where I delivered a pizza to. I know, dude, I know. I am like, people don't get it. This Jeep is like four months behind. And thank God, thank you. No, I'm not religious, I'm just saying thank you, universe. I have a credit union. I have a credit union, so the lady understands. She's in Dayton, Ohio. Her whole family's in this foreclosure fiasco and job loss situation. She tells her stories about her kid getting in trouble for not paying certain tickets and stuff. I mean, she knows. So I am so lucky I have a credit here. Going to pick up my Domino's check to go cash at my credit union, and they're only going to keep $100 towards the 1200 bucks I owe on my cheap because she understands I need the other money to keep my landlord at bay and to pay the insurance on the Jeep, because if I don't have insurance, then I won't have a job, and I'll go to jail, all kinds of things could happen if I don't have insurance. So I have insurance.